Daryl Lennington from itnewsafrica.com and I'm joined by Patizwe Malinga, who's the Managing Director of Squidnet. Great to have you here today. Thank you very much. So tell us a bit about Squidnet. What does the company do and when did it start? Um, the company Squidnet is a wireless network provider exclusively dedicated to Internet of Things. Um, it started in November 2016 and we've been going since then. All right, so tell us about your role in the company. When did you start at the company and what do you do in your position? Okay. Um, currently, I'm the managing director of Squidnet. I started in June last year. When I started, I was chief solutions officer and also then um, an executive director. All right, yeah. so tell us about your biggest highlight in your career. I've got a, um, a few, um, so I think my biggest highlight is when I left um, a consultancy that was working for MTN, I told myself in my next job I want to be able to use my talents, as little as they are, to make a difference in the world. Um, I managed to be fortunate enough to work for a private healthcare organization where um, they put the word affordable cost into the middle of all of their decisions and I got to be part of that world and now I'm getting to work with over 30 um, very trusted technology partners that are doing the same but at a much bigger scale. So shifting back to the company, what's been the company's biggest highlight for 2018? For 2018, um, we have what we have coined as the mega deal. That has been the biggest highlight, and that was signing three very reputable companies, um, Fidelity ADT, um, Discovery Insure, and Altron Netstar. So just getting those in this year signed up as our partners has been a feather in our cap. All right. So looking forward to the future, what plans does the company have for 2019 and 2020 going forward? Um, it, it will remain the same for quite a while, which is we really want people to exploit and use our network. We are a shared economy um, business model, so we, we, we want more people to benefit from using IoT. Um, the focus when we look at 2019 is small, medium companies being able to um, take part in the fourth industrial revolution. I think that's going to be our drive to make sure that these people can use our technology. All right, so with technology rapidly moving forward, how is this changing the face of traditional business? Um, quite a number of ways, um, and I think it's more the small companies. Um, what they are able to do with much fewer resources is they are able to meet um, expectations and not just of the low end of the market as you come in as a, as a, as a new entrant, but they are able to use the technology to start meeting our, our needs as mass market. So they, they really are in a position to disrupt big businesses if these big businesses are not um, trying to meet our expectations as well. All right. So what trends do you see impacting businesses and consumers in 2019? Um, I think from a, from, a, from a business point of view, it's really about innovation. It's really about, about servicing the unserviced. We now have an opportunity where we sit in a, in a world where we've got a high um, unemployment um, What's the percentage? <laughs> um, but what comes out of that high employment is opportunity. You know, it's, it's, it's sad that people don't have jobs, but they now have the opportunity to take very simple technology like ours and start servicing their communities and their contexts. So that's very great for businesses. Um, in terms of consumers ourselves, this technology and, 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 and innovation in general is able to now start making us more responsible as consumers. We're able to start thinking about our children now and our children grandchildren in terms of how we use shared resources like water. We're able to think about um, the level of quality of our air in our neighborhood. Is it, is it impacting um, my children or myself in a specific way? And we're able to think about our assets in general. Are our assets improving our lives? So I see that as, um, as big benefits for consumers as well. All right, so to finalize the interview, what advice would you give to individuals looking to rise above the corporate ladder? Um, yes, uh, uh, I think 
based off my experience, the first thing is, is it takes courage and it takes confidence and it takes a mindset of you're a servant if you're willing to climb up that ladder. Um, we all can benefit and we all can look out for ourselves, but I think as you climb up, what you have to have in mind is you're there and people are going to trust you to take care of them. Um, so don't, don't go into it for yourself you will be rewarded. Trust that your people will look after you. Go in it for them. Go in it because you don't know how, but you, you trust that you will find a way to serve them better. All right. So some wise words for the MD of Squidnet. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.